Hi, I'm Oscar Meyer with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We appreciate you tuning in this morning. So behind me is a 2023 Cimarron Lone Star 24 foot stock combo. These combos have become extremely popular just because of the versatility in these trailers themselves. They've got a lot of extras to them. Every Cimarron's a little bit unique and, and we do a lot of different options to them. Let's go ahead and take a look at the drawing before we start walking you through this trailer just to show you how it's laid out. So again, we're 24 foot on the floor. We're standard 610 wide and we're standard 71 tall. We have a front dressing room on this with two center cut gates. But as we walk through these trailers, again, if you've, if you've seen a lot of our videos, we tell you every Cimarron's unique. Every one of them's a little bit different. It's not like just a plain old hot dog. A lot of extras to them. Kind of like getting the fixings on them. So. As we walk through this, a couple things that I'll point out to you. <clears throat> Underneath the gooseneck here, you're gonna notice a single leg manual crank jack, but I want you to pay attention to that spare tire location. One thing that we've started to put some emphasis on is that spare tire location, because if you ever decide you wanna put a hydraulic jack on this, we were gonna have to relocate this spare tire. Normally it's located down low, and then we were having to move it in order to compensate for that kind of larger footprint that the hydraulic electric setup has. So we said with Cimarron, hey, go ahead and move ours up. And then I, they actually made that standard now in these standard whip trailers. When you get into the seven, six, eight wide trailers, not as big of a deal, it can stay down low. But we do like it actually shifted up uh, just because it is kind of also out of the way for you. Now, one thing that we've also started to pay attention to is truck bed height because of these newer trucks with taller truck beds, you know, Ford's Dodges, now GM's new body style, is making sure we have bed clearance. Um, you know, we want bed clearance, we want this trailer to run level. We want equal weight distribution over the two axles. So, over the years, this has been a 50 inch gooseneck drop. We've gone in and made ours 53. Now, it does eat three inches into that gooseneck, but believe me, I don't, I don't really think you're gonna notice it uh, from that standpoint of in as far as storage and head clearance in that gooseneck area. But it'll allow us to adjust our coupler, making sure this trailer's running level, equal weight distribution, and plenty of bed clearance. I mean, what we strive for is, you know, typically on these is at least six and a half, but we, what we like is like an eight to eight and a half inch bed clearance. You know, be able to put my pinky on the top of the bed and maybe just be able to graze the bottom of the gooseneck drop wall or not even touch it. You know, not quite like a foot long type of a scenario. That's a little excessive, but you know, you're gonna have plenty of bed clearance on this one here itself. Now, again, these combos are, the versatility is what really separates them. Because you have a front dressing room, front tack area, and then a stall area, you know, we can go ahead and lock this up, keeping our tack or other items nice and secure in here. But on this setup, we have a, a three and a half foot short wall with a four foot offset, 42 inch wide door. So a nice big wide opening. But the, the main reason why that is, is for this swing out saddle rack. We have to have this larger opening for the swing out saddle rack. So we're not dragging saddles on the door frame, but also you can actually walk through this area with it swung out. Four tier saddle racks, you can adjust these. Uh, you can change just, if you want to just three on there, you could take one off very easily. On the 42 inch wide door, you've got a four pole blanket pole rack. That's on a gas shock as well. Brush tray on the door. Keep your smaller items right there. You know, it's kind of like a refrigerator door. You know, you can set your condiments, things like that right in that area. Um, and then your step getting into this actual tack area. Believe me, that makes a big difference when you're actually hauling items in and out of this trailer by having that step. That's about an eight inch difference right there from this door frame to the actual step. And that's one less large step we have to make when we actually come into this uh, stall area or uh, tack room itself. Up in the gooseneck, <clears throat> you've got two windows so you can actually see out, get a little bit of a cross breeze. There is also a storage tray up to the right. We'll talk a little bit more about what goes in there. That's actually for our plexiglass for the stall area that I'll show you here in a little bit. 
Behind me is a shelf with a clothes rod. So it's nice and deep, it's 18 inches deep. You have a, a ledge to it, so it'll hold items in there. Hang your clothes so you can keep things nice and organized and neat. Not letting your uh, expensive dry cleaning get all wrinkled up. Then you've got a boot box here, kind of for some smaller miscellaneous items, hot dog buns, you know, just random things like that you can throw in there. On the actual partition wall, you've got some hooks. And the other thing behind those hooks is carpet. And we always like to incorporate some carpet behind our hooks, just because you have to understand, you know, if you throw your bridles up here, they're actually gonna be moving in transit and actually rubbing against this aluminum wall. Uh, so this way here, this carpet will just make it to where we're not actually having that metal to metal contact. And then also it'll deaden that noise as those items, you know, are shifting around. Behind, the saddle rack is a uh, gravity feed 25 gallon water tank back there. Um, maybe after a, a quick bite, you know, you want to wash it down with something. So you've got water on board with you. It's also, you can carry water for the horses. You know, if you're uh, going to a trailhead, you have a, a picky horse, something along those lines. You've got that water on board. The other thing too is when you get to an event and that hydrant's a long ways away, you can actually fill buckets up right here at the trailer rather than having to pack those a long distance. <clears throat> now this trailer here is silver metallic. <clears throat> White is standard, <clears throat> but we'll look at some of these like silver metallic, charcoal metallic, black. Those are some options for you. That is an upgrade when you go from the standard white to one of these colors. Uh, but these color options that Cimarron has really work really well with the color kind of options that the truck manufacturers have right now. <clears throat> now, two rows, air gaps, and as you can see, there's the plexiglass that I was telling you about for that storage tray. So, Every Cimarron's built with that track already in there for the plexiglass, so if you don't have plexiglass on a stock trailer, you still can add it to it. But what I recommend is if you're gonna take these out, you know, you take out driver's side lower, tape it together and write, it on, write what it is, passenger lower on there. And use like a painter's tape or masking tape so it doesn't leave a real sticky residue on it. Uh, and then do the same for the upper, same when you get over to driver, because in those, when you piece them together like that, then it's not a puzzle when you go to put them back in there. Believe me, it'll save a lot of time, a lot of hassle if you do that little step. 16 inch load light. There's a load light on each side and then an eight inch at the back. So you have light coverage on the exterior of this trailer. You have three tire rings on the outside, but we can go in and add more if you'd like. Wherever there's an upright post, we can add an actual tie ring there. Then you're gonna end up with two 7,000 pound rubber torsion Dexter axles, 16 inch aluminum wheels, those are standard, nitrogen filled tires and balance. So we're not having PSI levels fluctuate real drastically. You know, here in Colorado right now, we're getting you know below zero and we're still getting up to 60, maybe even 70 on some days. So big, big temperature swings, so those PSI levels aren't gonna fluctuate as drastically as air will. You also get a one year no questions asked warranty on those tires. So if you catch a nail, road debris, have a blowout, you're good. <clears throat> as we get to the back of the trailer here, we have a single gate. And then we step into the stall area where you're gonna have two center cut gates. So by having two center cut gates in here, we put the first one 39 inches off the partition wall. So that is the standard stall dimensions on their horse trailers as well. So you can use that as a stud stall, you can use it for additional storage. Um, but as you can see, we can swing them against this, this driver's side wall get them into place so we can still shut our back gate. So everything can still function. We don't have to shut certain gates in order to get the rear gate shut, nothing like that. You have these slam latches as they go against the wall as well. So very user-friendly, very easy to use. 
Um, these are also the anti rattle latches, so we're not getting a lot of that, you know, just clanking and banging in these type of trailers. Because of that heavy UHMW plastic that they use, there's not that metal to metal contact that we were talking about as earlier. So you have the industry's best floor, four inch centers. Those centers run across this trailer the entire length. So imagine hoof size of a horse, a calf, anything like that. Wherever they're standing on this trailer, they're standing on a support beam. So you really get that strength. When you start spreading those centers, that's when you start getting those pits and waves uh, over time where urine can collect, creating that uh, corrosion possibly. On the hip wall, you've got lined with a kick mat. It is also on this uh, front partition wall as well. And then you have this insulated roof, which is standard on every single Cimarron. <clears throat> so just because it's a specific model doesn't mean you're going to get a different roof. You're going to get this roof on every one of them. Uh, and believe me, it makes a massive difference in the temperature uh, of this stall area, but it's really strong, it's really durable. So you can walk on it, uh, it'll take 150 pounds per square foot, but that R3 thermal value that the roof has will keep this stall area about 20% cooler than aluminum sheeted roof, which makes a massive difference in just overall comfort level for the actual anim animals themselves. Couple OptiBright lights, we like to upgrade to those. They're a clear lens, big light. They're LED, so not a big power draw, but again, plenty of light coverage. Now, with the plexiglass in here, you can't tie to some of these upright posts because you can't put a lead rope around it with that plexiglass in there. So you have this tie rail that runs the entire length in between the two gaps. It's actually on each side of it. But that way, if you do have the plexiglass in, you can still throw a lead rope around there and tie something up as far as that's concerned. So when we get into this stall area, again, just a, a, a lot of extras on there. Um, you know, you're definitely getting, you know, the mustard and ketchup option, not just anything plain as far as that's concerned there. Uh, and then when we get over here to driver's side, again, there's your plexiglass. There's your additional 16 inch awning light. And then an escape door here at the front. So with that front stall, with that gate being set back right behind it, you know, again, this is a great place for, again, you can use it as a stud stall or additional storage, maybe some hay, maybe some bedding, those type of items. And you can get to them by having this, this door right here, even if you are loaded with animals. So again, a very well equipped stock combo. Believe me, you buy something like this, and you will just relish in the options it has and, and just the overall just benefits of everything that's on this trailer. I'm going to give you the stock number on it just for reference. It is a 2023 Cimarron Lone Star 24 foot stock combo. Stock number is 5N221510. We do take trade ins. So if you're looking to upgrade, downgrade, we could help you out there. Delivery is available. And then also we can help you with financing. So give us a call. Anybody on our sales team can help you out. They're not a bunch of hot dogs. They'll, they'll be willing to work with you. So that number is 303-684-3400. We appreciate you tuning in and have a good day.